again now. Alright, now I can move it, so it's not clear. Alright, hey guys, Sam Swan here today with another episode of Zombie Exodus. So, um, on the last episode, some of you, no, I didn't even read the comments yet, we haven't uploaded it yet, but, um, I figured that'd be better to do with this in F11 mode, and we found out something, but we didn't do it, just checked, if you hit show stats, it'll say shit like, Zombie Exodus start, um, staff age, your name, pig, hooker, and like, <laughs> profession, gender, what part you're at, so we didn't actually finish a part apparently. So you find out your strength, and so we're like we don't have much will or intelligence, but we have charisma. Yes, charisma helps a lot. Yes, so like, so some chicks, oh, I think charisma would be right, like better. You guys like, hey, don't, no, I'm a uh, chick. Don't don't shoot me. It's like, oh, okay. I think I think my humanity's low because we're drunk. But yeah, so we're unarmed drinking shit and sit next, uh, and it brings you back. So, um, do you want to start reading first? Actually, no, no, I'll read first. I'm not reading that huge pastor. Oh, fine. <laughs> you, awaken, welcome, you awaken to a heavy, nauseous feeling in your gut. The clock reads 8.03 p.m. Emma has not been home in hours. You plop down on the living room couch and flip on the television where where the middle-aged... Yeah, what? What? Anchorman. Anchorman reports. What? The CDC by, uh, via the White House has just announced over 20% of the world is infected with the virus Zeta. Zeta. Reports are coming in from around the globe of a massive spread of this terrible infection that attacks the brain and the nervous system, quickly disabling the victim and, in effect, reanimating the body of the, of, of the afflicted. Um, moments ago, we heard from... Dr. Anthony Willis, who has treated the infected and stated they show uh, deterioration of the bone and muscle, a yellowing of the skin, lack of fine mortar abilities described as a drunken walk, and uh, inability to speak. That sucks. Dr. <laughs> Willis goes on to explain the virus's um, effects on primitive areas of the brain and acts as a parasite which um, rewires the nervous system of the host to take over functions of the body. Infected, infected becomes aggressive, attempting to bite or otherwise injure p others of the pest virus. Zombie! Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> this just in, Governor Tate has declared a state of emerg emergency and the National Guard have come in to keep peace in the streets and force a mandatory curfew at am I the, 9 p.m. Am I the guy that just didn't go? She's like, yeah, I got the call. Fuck you. I'm drunk. Okay, I'm pretty sure if you saw that on your television, and you know a zombie apocalypse is gonna happen, I'm sure people will go fucking crazy and start breaking into stores and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's like, I want it's the end of the world! It's like this. You're gonna have to it's the end of the world! This fucking jumps out the window, dies. You see, yes. he's gonna be a zombie now. Fuck my life. It's like, I um, don't. I hope people don't take offense to this. It's like 9/11 all over again. God damn it! All right, you peer outside of the apartment from for seven from seven stories up. Notice a crowd of people formed outside. Sirens blare as police vans and cruisers skirt up and down the streets. Uh, um, and news helicopters swarm overhead. You remember now the infection. It was only a few days ago you first heard of the outbreak. Emma mentioned reports at the hospital were fatal, highly contagious viruses spreading like a forest fire if the forest was doused in ga with gasoline. Oh, God. That's very descriptive. Yeah. <laughs> the lights flicker and the television set dims and cuts off. Light streams in, streams in through the apartment windows, casting a golden glow through the air, About which fades in... The, uh, in, the <laughs> in the recesses of the room you hear movement in the hallway outside of the apartment and rush to the door all is silent you wait and listen pressing your ear to the hardwood surface silence you move back to the television and flip on the power nothing um, on and off nothing the dim uh, fucking why do Ambience. I get why do I get the hard words light <laughs> from outside codes the room Time creeps by as you consider your next move. A sharp scratching noise seeps through the ceiling. Once, then twice, metal scrapping cement. Uh, cement. <laughs> Why me? 
You spin in a full circle. The sound comes from the floor above. The scratching builds into a harsh screeches, like a fork digging deeper and deeper into a, a styrofoam plate. The sound intensifies for several minutes and then ceases. Oh, so I think this is going to be the end of this chapter soon. So next. All right. Oh. Yes. The television pops back on. Pictures of infected running through cities across the globe cover the screen. Police and military attempt to subdue the creature, now called Zambies, by the media. An announcer describes... Oh, I don't, I mean, <laughs> subdue the creatures. Seduce the creatures. <laughs> <laughs> describe the... Yeah, I get the, the, fu- I get the hard macabre. words. The macabre <laughs> truth that infects are, um, are spreading rapidly and cautious. And cautions viewers to stay indoors at all costs. Yeah, because you know if the zombies break in, you can totally like jump out your window. I don't live on like seven Man. floors above. <laughs> that sucks. It's like I'm gonna die. I might as well just jump out the window. Yep. <laughs> From overhead, you hear a loud thump and a crash of broken glass. An explosion of footsteps rings from the hallway, and several screams cut the air. You think of Emma out in the city. If zombies are running rampant through the streets uncontained by the police what chance does she have you need to reach her there is no landline and your cell phone is missing excuse me she could be on her way back but you have no way of reaching her from the apartment wait a second then again do you just say there's no landline but your cell phone's missing how the fuck do you know if there's landline if you don't have a cell phone hmm we're psychic. Maybe she just took the sound phone. She's like, I oh, doesn't need this in case of an emergency. Obviously, there's zombies everywhere. Oh man, let's make sure his phone's <laughs> on. Turn the phone puts in the pocket. I'll call you if there's anything bad. <laughs> Calls. Shit. Shit. What the fuck? Uh, then again, there's nothing keeping you here. Oh, there's just stuff banging at the fucking door. You change into your jeans and t-shirt and, and grab a quick sandwich and a glass of water. After eating, you... Um, eating, you realize a few items may come in handy. You sh- um, should you need to leave or in situation and relative comfort of the apartment changes, you decide to take my wall. It's gonna fucking help me get no <laughs> a flashlight. That, ooh, yeah, we get guns. That's right. Yes. So um, I. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad decision, but whatever. <laughs> it's like scrap. All right. That's almost as bad as your wallet. Like oh, well, if, it, if we're gonna think about it, you have your wallet, that could provide money in case you want to go somewhere. But since you hear screams and scratching the walls, you know I'm zombies sure are everywhere. I'm sure shit. everyone, every place around should be or possibly should be locked up. So. Your wallet, scratch that. All right, a flashlight. A flashlight, it could help because it is nighttime. Yeah, because think, thinking back, this could affect like what we were at the start, saying it was dark. If we have a flashlight, we could look. Yeah, so and find evidence and shit. Yeah, yes. um, th- a three-point, a uh, three-point special revolver. Right, I'm going to really be honest. Nice. I'm going to be honest. That would help a lot, but it doesn't have uh, much... Uh, uh, so um, I'm I'm pre- I'm pretty the sure the capacity of the gun, the ammo, wouldn't help. I'm pretty sure we're gonna wanna like um, so the shotgun's really loud. An AR-15 semi-automatic is pretty good, and I think those ones aren't that loud compared to a revolver and a shotgun. Backpack with filled with with clothes, food, and water. All you have to really do is minus that clothes. Well, actually, then again, zombie blood. As I recall, that actually, can, that would yeah. be a good idea. So, but um, I'm 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 just let's um, think this over. Well, um, then again, if, like, if you have a backpack that's going to slow you down, and if something like if something happens to that, you, you lost like everything. But what are you going to carry? I'm sure you're going to find other people, and they might have supplies too, so... Yeah, but like, hmm. say like, um, for some reason you're forced to kill them, what are you going to carry your stuff with? So I say the backpack, and if I hope it lets us choose at least one other item, because we're either going to want a gun or the multi-tool, which I'm going to imagine is like a Swiss Army knife. Or well, we're gonna need our favorite book. So you your want your favorite book? Your favorite book. It's like <laughs> ow. It's like everything. Books. I need this. This one, this is gonna help. It's like everything. It's like oh, taking I, the book of Bible. Oh, I know you're a what priest. The, I know what the book's gonna do. What? Um, your humanity. Like if you go, if you don't do anything to entertain yourself, you're gonna go insane. Oh yeah, true. I guess that that would make sense. Unless you're like fucking a rich creature. To be bastard, honest. Help you. To be honest. Uh. I think we'd rather go I'm, with the backpack first. Because I know it's going to let no. us choose another thing. 
if it wants to choose our last name, it's gonna do that. So. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, go with that pack. Photos include Mari. Yeah, okay. Alright. Fearing that you, you made, made such a city, city and being in survival mode, you quickly pack clothes, some non perishable food, and half a dozen water balls of spring water. One more item, and you can. Okay, so. We're gonna need a weapon here. Alright. <laughs> well, we have. We have our. Um. Well, we practically have our inventory right now. That's that probably build up our inventory. For, well, we can stash things and stuff. Yeah. So, a thirty-eight special revolver makes a lot of sound. Yeah. It's kind of like a shotgun itself. I'm gonna be honest. But um, and it not doesn't have that great of accuracy because it, yeah, it has a lot range. of kickback it's to it. It's short range, but it, so is a shotgun. I'm really yeah. thinking more of the AR-15 because that um because it's semi-automatic. It's um the AR-15 is a pretty good rifles actually. And um, it holds, I think, um, a thirty magazine. Yeah. So yeah, well, we we will go with range. this. I'm sure we can find other light sources and stuff. Yeah, and like our favorite book might help, but if like as time comes, we're probably gonna find people which yeah, will increase your Yeah, we, we always find. You always look around, I guess, but yeah, because like if we look around, we could just find a fucking book. Fuck, I'm. Uh, I feel. I'm deciding over though. It's like if really we take hard. the rifle, we might not find a light source though. I'm saying this light source is around, but you probably, in case you want to look around, there's uh, always wait, stuff you can find. What two options did we choose? Okay. Wait one second. Um, we're gonna go to show stats. Our dexterity, I'm guessing, is where our speed's gonna be. So we actually have a high speed. I just so, want to make yeah, sure so that. Yeah, the backpack food water is in the inventory. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, like I just want to make sure our speed because even if we have a flashlight we're not gonna have anything to uh, protect ourselves but we also have panch hand combat which probably won't help so i just want to make sure we can be able to run away if hand time hand comes. combat so yeah all right yeah let's go with the flashlight yeah so the flashlight and that might help us in the scene that we um read last so and the flashlight yep it's dark and day it's dark outside and the power is messing up the um lighting inside you hate the dark you grab a high car flashlight and a several pack of batteries at least the game didn't, like, let's not take you, you forgot the batteries, you're fucked. You're fucked. It's you like, will die. It's like this. Uh, it's like, why? You grab the flashlight and you remember, you took out the batteries to, to power your remote. Yes. Fuck. Now it's time to make a decision. Emma is a smart and capable young woman, but it is your job to watch over her. You can head out and look for a phone or just leave the building and find her in the city below. On the other hand, it may be best to learn more about the virus and you could watch the news or search the internet while the power is on um well search it said i don't want to search because if i recall it said um something about you hear shuffling noises outside so that so yes i would lock the doors and check the news for updates yeah um okay yeah it's me you check the locks on the door and put a heavily put a heavy chair on the doorknob thank you and you hear no more movement in the hallway and return to your living room and to learn of any updates on on the news. The Acre Man looks shaken as he peers into the camera and reports on developments um, um, along with a live helicopter feed only a few blocks from your apartment bu building. Um, we have reports from all over the city, of, um, the city of infections, creatures, zombies. Not sure what to call them, attacking and biting people. The videos we are showing is the video we are showing is disturbing, and we only show this to represent the gravity of the situation. The anchor man clears his throat and goes silent as images of violent attacks stream over the television in some sick silent horror film. An infected woman crosses the screen, her skin yellow with dark green lesions, hair filthy and matted, mouth open with reddish string, uh, strings of saliva drooling out and limbs twisting and writhing as if in some perpetual seizure. Across the street, an old, older man is locking the gate of his furniture shop. The zombie sprints forward, arms flailing, legs stiff. The owner turns and spots the creature. In the silence of the footage, you cannot hear his screams as she leaps onto his chest. Her momentum drops him to the ground. The camera zooms in as the zombie Borrows her teeth into the shop owner's face, blood squirted and streams up and over her. 
The light in your apartment flickered and goes out. Shit, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the light in your apartment flicker, flickers and goes out along with the television. Um, the building's electricity power fades, leaving the apartment in a complete silence. Oh, I'm glad we grabbed that flashlight. Except for a scratching noise coming from down the hall. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. I feel like, is this chapter going to end soon? Because I really feel like it's gone now. All right. You realize you must reach Emma somehow. Either call her, call her by phone or find her outside in the city. It is best to head downstairs and deal with the chaos. You head into the hallway. Someone will let you use the phone to call Emma. There have to be, yeah. there have to be others still in the building behind locked doors. Finding your sister is your only priority. The lights flickered and the cast of, um, of an airy glow all around. Power uh, fluctuates off and on. It's silent. It's silent again. Way too silent. You head to an uh, head to an apartment. I, I realize you like reading. <laughs> Seven uh, A, Mr. Connor, antique dealer. All right. Well, uh, well. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I I like the idea of knowing someone, but if I'm thinking and we're on an apartment and it said we were looking seven floors down, I feel like zombies would take longer to go up. So, this guy could be a madman for all we know. So, this, we know Mr. Connor, but he's at the very first floor where, mo where zombies probably would be. Okay, wait, wait. So, D is more up, right? I assume? Yeah, so I could be A, first floor, B, second floor, C, third floor, D, fourth floor. So, wh which one do you want to go with? Well, I have a... We're on... I know we're on 7B, so... That's, uh... Yeah. That helps a lot. I'm gonna say... Because taking upper ground might help, but, um... I... I feel like we know him, but it's just I have a feeling that he's feeling. an antique uh, antiques dealer, though. Well, is he really gonna help us with that? My well, antiques they, they telephone. Have, he has antiques of guns, though. It might be possible, but on the first floor, you never know what you'll find. Yeah. And same with an unknown uh, occupant doesn't help either. Yeah. Um. So, what do you want to do? <sighs> we have one floor above, two floors above, and one. Below. So, to be honest, if you, we heard zombies going through the hallway, which we hear, oh shit! It said we heard um a scratching on um noise above. Yeah. So let's go to the first floor. All right, Mr. Connor's antique. Door. He's probably dead, but let's just help. All right. You knock on the door, but no, um, but no, it's, it is a jar. No light escapes a small opening stack from the television or radio permits in the air. Um, the Arthur Connor's apartment, an antiques dealer who usually keeps his shop open late in the evening. Your sister mentioned him a few times. Most would you tell you to avoid him at all costs. Arthur is quite odd. He's probably late 70s. And, and on the one occasion, you did meet him. About as friendly as a starving hyena. Oh god. <laughs> you take too kind of you being in this apartment without permission. Alright, so enter anyways because rules change on the box was right behind me. Decided to take um decided it's best to uh Well if he well, whines, if I'll just like smack him in the face. But he knows it's a zombie apocalypse. I think he'll try to steal from us. I really do. But we have hand to hand combat. Yeah. So let's enter because uh you know it's a zombie apocalypse. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, you ease the door open and step inside. Helicopters outside, um, thrusts of light through, um, through the blinds, um, create a striped pattern along the wall of the apartment. You stand in the living room atop of an orient rug stretched across the hard wood floor. Victorian-style couch and a love seat are arranged in the center of the room with a Victorial and pes pestle next to them. You, um, glance an old music player with a large funnel shaped horn and hand cranked in the spin record considering how it was made is a much simpler less zombie filled time <laughs> alright you want to start reading that? Cause oh, I, yeah. Yeah. impressionist art hangs from the walls and uh, statues of Aphrodite and Apollo stand guard on the either side of the apartment. I want that room besides for that record I player. want this room. Aphrodite and Apollo, player. they're like my favorite gods, especially yeah. Apollo. It's All god right. of love and, yeah. Yeah. Um, you check the bedroom and find a well-kept room in perfect order. 
a closet full of old clothes pressed and uh, hanging or folded in neat piles. A large steamer truck uh, trunk with photos turned gray and brown from aging. A scrap a scrapbook in a and a box with a top hat. A large oak dresser stretches across the northern wall. You you hit uh, pay dirt as the bottom drawer. Wait, you hit pay dirt as the bottom drawer has a Smith and uh, Wesson Model 10 in a case with a box of 38 caliber ammunition. You take the gun and ammo and return to the living room. Yes. Okay. Yes, that was such a good idea. I knew yeah. the antique would help. Yeah, but um, if he has a gun, I feel like he's gonna fucking have a gun with him. Well, we have a gun. Yeah, and, we, and if not, I swear if we die on the second episode, I'm just gonna like, cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if we die, we'll restart and like, yeah, all have guess, our characters. Yeah. Cause, all right, so um, I want to check our stats. See if it. Oh wait, I'll hit next actually first, then check our stats. Yeah. All right, um, one second. I just want to see if it gave me the gun. Yep, yeah, revolver. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> all right. You're doing so well. For that. <laughs> all right, you. Pref- you uh, perform a move through the search of the living room. You find no phone. You step into the kitchen with a, with a spot radio on the counter next to the coffee maker. Sag fills the area, so you turn off the radio. With the white noise dies out and replaced with the sounds of scraping, similar to what you heard in, in your apartment. You're spinning around, looking up in your hand with your um and your hand on the rifle, readying yourself for whatever is making a noise. It slides from one end of the room to the other, acro- crossing the wa- walls behind overhead cabinets. You search through um, each one anxiously, waiting for something to leap out. You find nothing but soap, but soup cans, old dried pasta, and a, and a um, glass jar of herbs in the last cover. You open the can of coffee and find a roll of money inside. The scraping in, um, intensions in the corner of the room. You consider you, you consider the role of money. Leave the money. I'm a survivor, not a thief. Take the money, and I think of the cash that might help me. That would help um for people that like think of money is good thing like. But in humanity, that would be a bad thing because that would be considered stealing. Yeah. So I'm gonna say leave the money. I am a survivor, not a thief. Yeah. Um. You put the money back in the coffee can. Place the um place it in the cover box and out of the kitchen. Having checked out all the um. Connor's apartment. You walk back into the hallway. Your humanity increases slightly. Yes. Um. You think you should check another apartment? And sh- All right. So I feel like the last one's gonna be a bad. It's, yes. It's either gonna be, cause the third. Wait. So you oh no! The I top, th- you think the top? There. I think if it's an apartment. I think. Um, wouldn't you think survivors would go to the top? Yeah. The, but I say we should go zombie. to the top only reason because um, just because of the rule. First is good, second is good, third is awful, and we're on the second floor. We started at the second floor, so C would be a third. Yeah, I guess go with 70. Yeah. And then four has nothing bad about it. Okay. As you step toward the apartment, sound sound resonates at the door. A loud male voice repeating clicking noises in constant electrical hum. You knock on the door. It all goes silent. Moments pass. You listen and hear the rattling of locks and chains at the door, which springs open. A tall man with his... Um, Early twenties answers the door, um, wearing a tie, a tie-dye T-shirt and faded blue jeans with a dark brown s- sandal, is full of bushy, blonde beard, <laughs> and a wool knit cap pulled over his head. He leans out of the door and looks left and right, and then pulls you into the apartment. I feel like he's gonna be the guy that, like, if we were video game friends, we would have knew him already. Yes, <laughs> I feel like he's that guy. Inside a geek's wonder, wonderland. <laughs> Half a dozen laptops blinking and buzzing in a row. A large plasma television uh, with eight different news channels tiled on the screen. Wires and cables on the wall hanging from the ceiling crisscross uh, crossing each inch of walking space. Dozens of open cans of Red Bull spread across various surfaces. Co- uh, comic books and graphic novels strewn about Lord of the Rings. Fuck yeah! Yes! Memora <laughs> Memora <laughs> Billa set in the shrine near an open kitchen and dozens of movie posters uh, covering uh, sci-fi over the I wish this guy was my friend. I was like, I was living his health with him. I'm like, I don't right. fucking care. I said, you've been reading a lot. I'm going to do this. <laughs> Alright. Hey, I'm John. Have a seat. Hey, I'm Jason. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I thought John purposely. <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm Jason. Have a seat. 
He states, though, a raspy cigarette soaked voice and sits in a rolling chair positioned in front of the row of laptops. He taps away at the PC and yells at the screen. People are just rising from the dead all over the world. It's global zombies chaos. This is... <laughs> this is undead Armageddon. Hey, Jason, I'm Pig. <laughs> oh, God. I, was just I really it. need a phone. Do you have one? I can use for a quick call. Not sure. What are you trying to prove? Asking me that, Jason says, shaking his head. All right. I'm not trying to prove anything. I just need a phone. Jason, give me the phone before I break your neck. <laughs> Jason, this is an amazing set. Have you ever seen? I've never seen systems like this way. Hey, can I borrow the phone real quick? I just got down one. Dude, dude, like, got a phone? I need to call my sister and make sure she's okay. I, I don't know. He stops the guy by, ooh, sister. But then again, like, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that'd be like, just trying to, like, be a kiss ass. No. So, like, I'm thinking of it's either one of this or this, and I, I think he'll no, probably kick me out. But I feel like. If I say Jason, this is a man who says I've I never seen system links this way. No. No. It's all I, I, I wouldn't I, be impressed by it. It's like I just need to call my sister and make sure she's okay. Uh. Well. Yeah. Wait. You want to go with me? Trust me. Wait. Yeah. Go, I think go, we go, should go, just go. go with the last one. Trust me. Yeah. That's why I thought you. Right. Um. Jason removes the earbuds from. No. Sorry. I was talking to my buddy, Dector, on the VIP there. He's trying to stay off cell phone grid. No problem. I can use um. Um, v um, can I use VLIP to call someone? Jason flicks switches on the taps um, key, so I'm keep a laptop turns off as you monitors and television screens. The lights dim. Jason moves aside the um, wall with what looks like the most elaborate fuse box in North America, and then he pushes the wires and fuse caps around. You see, the epidemic is un is underreported. Most of Europe is already zombed. Zombfested, zombfest, zombie fest. My oh, God, I cannot wait. And there are millions of Asian zombies running around. They're gonna be the best zombies in the world, bro. <laughs> Top ranked zombies. They're gonna go to zombie call it. <laughs> These things aren't like any movies. There aren't even. They aren't even more fearsome. You gotta destroy their heads. And it's gotta get back up more pissed than ever. All right. A long shrieking noise echoes through the apartment. You and Jason freeze. The sound was not natural, not human, and not animal. You close your eyes to focus on listening, but only hear the hum of the computers in your own rapid breathing. Jason runs to the door and presses his ear against uh, his ear against it. His mouth opens opens wide in a gasp, but no sound emanates. He rushes towards you, grabs your shoulder, and begins pushing you to the door. Oh, what a dick! Sorry, you gotta go. Uh, before you have a chance to reply, Jason leads you through the door and closes it. You are standing in a half, uh, in the hallway alone once more. Wait, I, I... Okay. Okay, so, we have a gun and we have a light. And, you know when it said, um, the shriek? I kind of, like, imagine a metal half zombie, like, yeah! Yes. <laughs> That's exactly... I bet you image that, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Alright. You realize that staying upstairs is a waste of time, and you want to find Emma... You get out of the city, you'll have to make your way downstairs. Next chapter, the journey downstairs. Oh, oh god, boy. we finally made it past this chapter. Alright, so we're well, getting the recording folks. off. We're getting the recording off here. I think we recorded like a longer episode than the last one and you know, I think we made a good choice. We got guns, we got supplies, and we're still a pig hooker and And Jason's an asshole. Yeah, he fucking kicked us out. I'd be like, see like you asshole, what the fuck? I'd probably knock on his door. I'd probably, I'd probably shoot his lock. It's like this. <laughs> I have a gun on me. I'll fucking shoot your door down if you don't open. Well, I guess kind of pushed him out, though. Yeah. So, uh... I'm really surprised there wasn't an option to, like, either let him or beat him up because we have hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, I guess. Yeah, but, uh... Um... So, um, it's been Hammer for Sworn and my cousin. He doesn't have a YouTube page. Um, yes. so... Um, bid you all farewell, my animals. Goodbye, animals. Goodbye, brass. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay. Hey, hey guys, Hammerfish One here today with another episode of Zombie Exodus by Jim Datelio. Datelio. Datelio, shut up. Okay, um, so we found out something. We haven't done anything, but you can actually show stats, which didn't lag.